Our biggest concern with the pigs is probably disease carrying. We do have a lot of damage. 12 months ago, the pigs in this area were in plague portion. Uh, you'd go around a single day mustering, you'd see five to six mobs of pigs while mustering. After 12 months of this LLS controlled baiting program, we're down to barely seeing pigs at all. Uh, hi, I'm Liam. Occupation, I work on a family farm. It's my in-laws farm near Barabah, New South Wales. 7,000 acres, uh, mainly cattle, with a little killing mob of sheep. About 12 or 18 months ago, I was approached at a field day by a couple of landowners and farm managers here in this area. They knew that they had a feral pig problem. They knew that the feral pig problem was getting worse and it was just getting too hard to manage with the existing controls that they had. And they wanted to know how best LLS could help them. I'm Karen, I'm a Senior Biosecurity Officer with Local Land Services. One of the biggest concerns for this pest animal group is the disease risk of feral pigs. Uh, leptospirosis, brucellosis, um, and now even Japanese encephalitis has been found in pigs across New South Wales. And so vaccinating your livestock for leptospirosis is an added cost that these guys are having to wear now. To mitigate the risk of disease transfer is high on the list of priorities here for this group. This paddock here, we put cows in these hills and we've actually seen cows grooming pigs in the paddock. They'll lick them. We have feeders on the farm now too, we pellet feed. The pigs love the feeders obviously, so they're in there and the feeders with them feeding. Disease could spread that quickly, let alone water sharing and licking each other in the paddock, so the threat's huge. So we've got a bit over 20 neighbours in an area here that are doing excellent control. They're coordinating their control a couple of times a year all together and there are still a lot of those landowners doing ad hoc controls all throughout the year as well. If we didn't have our neighbours in a group with us with the LS helping, those pig numbers would still be like they were 12 months ago. You, you just can't get on top of about everyone being in a controlled group and helping. So we are baiting better, knowing how the pig performs out with all their studies they've done. A big help has been these traps you see behind us. Uh, they've given us grain, which is a, quite expensive to, when you're doing these baiting programs. We had one site where we were feeding out nearly 500 kilos of barley a night, so if we had to pay for that ourselves, that's a, another burden on the farm. Part of our group, they've got us on a feral pig scan app, which is a very handy tool. We know where neighbours are baiting their pigs, so we make sure we're not in the same vicinity. So therefore, if they're on the other side of the hill, we can go on the other side of our property and we're getting much better numbers and results. Having a pest control group is a great way to build your confidence and your skills to be able to manage the feral pigs, not only for your own farm economics and your farm business, but also in the event of an outbreak of an exotic or notifiable disease. I think New South Wales or Australia wide, if they could get more of these programs going across the country, we could definitely get a dent in the feral pig population. Some of the positive outcomes after working with this group for 12 or 18 months is that they're just not seeing the pig numbers that they had 12 months ago. I drove out here on our very first meeting and nearly hit a mob of pigs on the road and, and we just don't see that here anymore. Get in touch with your local biosecurity officer who can help assist getting a coordinated group together so that your pig control efforts are much more efficient.